Hi, Andy Biggs here from Arizona's 5th Congressional District. I wanted to give you a kind of a, an explainer video about the legislative branch appropriations bill that just was voted on today. I voted no, and I'll explain to you why. Uh, the Department of Defense, military gets, gets a, about a trillion dollars. Our interest on our national debt's about a trillion dollars. And this particular bill, in this particular time, didn't seem to me appropriate because our new level of spending, if this goes through the Senate and gets signed by the President, will be over $7 billion for the legislative branch. And that is a $375 million or 5.6, almost 6% increase over last year's spend. So that's a bit of a problem for me. So uh, let's just go through some of the, the, the special line items or some I line items to consider. So the good news is the leadership offices of both the Republican and the Democrat remain equal, the same as, as last year. So there's no increase. It'd be better if there was a small decrease. But the members' representational allowance, and that is, that's the amount of money that members use to uh, run their offices here and in your, their districts, uh, is being increased by $33.6 million. And I have a problem with that. I believe that we should have kept that flat and level, if not reduce it a bit. But nonetheless, they increased it by $33 million, and I had a problem with that. Um, for salaries, officers, and employees of the legislative branch, that's not those, the people, if you call my office and you talk to them, that's not those people. These are people working in other aspects of the legislative branch. Um, they got an increase of a million dollars up to $326 million. Just some additional items that that uh, drive you crazy. This was, this was actually a better thing, is that you reduce the attending physician's office uh, within, the, within Congress by about $3 million. And the reason that's good is because it's actually become kind of weaponized. So we tried to get an amendment on today uh, that said that they were going to go down to 2020, the pre-COVID number. But it didn't work. Uh, uh, our Republicans voted against that. Uh, against that amendment. We had a lot vote for it, but some Republicans voted against it. So those are the main, main reasons. There's some additional weird stuff in here. I mean, you got the Library of Congress is getting an increase of $31 million. I have, I have struggled with that. Uh, that's, that seems uh, ex excessive. Uh, you're giving the government publishing office an additional $4 million, and uh, GAO, a government accountability office, is getting $84 million, $85 million above. But here's one that we tried to eliminate today uh, through an amendment that, uh, again, Republican colleagues uh, voted to kill the amendment that would have removed the funding for co uh, the Congressional Office for International Leadership, um, which is getting an increase. And the problem with that is they're responsible for a lot of these international DEI-type programs that go on that you hear about and get so incensed about. So I couldn't vote for this bill. Uh, it did go down. My guess is it'll be rehabilitated, and you might see it back here in two weeks. Uh, so I wanted to give you that information, and uh, I'll keep you posted.